Mate, we're back at Hammerfest, we're playing at Mosh, and here we are with Paul Preston. You are? And you mentally are playing guitar. Paul Finney, bass player. And Garth Owen, guitar. Mate, <laughs> right, we understand that uh, you're going to release Blood Alliance this month. New album? Blood Alliance, yeah, that's going to be released on the 28th in the UK, so it'll be released in Japan and uh, in European countries already. Um, yeah, looking forward to it, man. It's, you know, it's been so a long time coming. Yeah. Very exciting times. So I'm um, just counting down the days and nice to get a nice little tour coming up as well just before the release. Um, obviously with Symphony X going out next week. Um, so it should, should be good. So Big fan of Symphony X. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> so you've got three dates with uh, Symphony X that we understand. Yeah. Um, you're, looking, you're obviously looking forward to having with those guys, yeah? Yeah, it's going to be cool, man. I mean, I was speaking for myself, but with a few young guys as well, you know, quite big fans of Simplex, so it's going to be it's going to be cool to come from a couple of those guys and play some shows and. Uh, <coughs> so after your Symphony X days, you're heading up to Europe, obviously um, promoting the new album. Uh, uh, I think we will be eventually. There's, there's still kind of a slight gap in Europe about European dates, so looking to get them confirmed, but it might not be until after we've done the UK tour now. Yeah, I mean the dates are flying about at the moment, so we can't really confirm anything, but. Stay tuned. Are you you're getting a bit excited about uh, an upcoming tour then? Sorry? You're you getting a bit excited about an upcoming tour? Yeah, yeah, yeah you get uh, excited. <laughs> slightly, slightly nervous, obviously, it's new material that we're presenting to people. New lineup for the band as well. Uh, so, yeah, it's very exciting, but at the same time, you know, you, you know the people are looking at you going, yeah, you're following these uh, these guys that have been before, so slightly scary as well, you know. Well, we've, got, we've had some positive feedback so far anyway, so most of it's been positive, so. Yeah, it's been, I've got to say, it's been really positive with both, you know, yeah, the old fans, yeah. hardcore, hardcore fans, yeah, and uh, the new fans as well, you know, we seem to be gaining quite a lot of new fans quite rapidly, and it's, you know, it's, it's a good thing. Um, yeah, obviously playing the, the older material is an element of, um, you know, anxiety because you don't want to fuck up the past part of my expression. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've got to, uh, you've got to say true to, to how yeah, the original right. sounds. It's, it's got, got to be Power Quest, doesn't it? It's, it's got to be Power, power Quest, yeah. yes. Well, I understand that this is Power Quest's 10th anniversary, and that would have made you about eight years old when the band started. <laughs> yeah, exactly, good for you now. Um, yeah, um, yeah I, I've been a fan of the band for about seven years now, so I mean, it's a, it's a dream come true, seeing as you know, we've got the opportunity to join, join to the chance, as with all of you guys, you know, it's, uh, it's a huge privilege you know, to play with, you know, not only Steve Williams, he's a phenomenal songwriter, great guy, but with you know, guys like these as well, you know, it's, uh, it's really good. Yes, <laughs> No so the writing of Blue, uh, uh, Blue Alive's new album, mm. was, was it a, a group collaboration or was one particular writer to um, be your team in this? Steve actually had about half the album written before uh, we, we started to do it and then he actually took inspiration from things that were happening at the time as well to write further songs. He actually turned up with all the lyrics, didn't he? Yeah, yeah 99 percent of them. Yeah. You know, pretty much all the music as well. Um, but obviously the arrangements we all did together. I think that was one of the things that was different about this, uh, you know, um, version of PowerQuest is that we can get together a lot more often um, and spend a lot more time. So when we went into the studio, we were really, you know, ready for it. You know, we did the album about half the time that had been done previously. Um, I know you were a bit more involved with writing the Steve musically, yeah. weren't you? I mean, it. it it started out basically how we work is Steve will send us the keyboard tracks, it's just one you know, it's a keyboard track. That's a general kind of idea we get and then we kind of work from that. Um, so you know I was listening to this and I started getting inspiration from it and developing new ideas. So I contributed them to the songs and I think there's three songs on the album where where the collaboration between me and Steve where there's new ideas where I've been involved in, one of them being crunching the numbers where it's the whole kind of proggy thing that's that's been something more I've kind of pushed to the forefront for that. Yeah, yeah, it so it's more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> what was great though, like he, he, he writes the whole score, but then we're allowed to add like a guitar pass to it. He's very open to our ideas, which is great. It's definitely a democracy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We all get you know, our own say, and um, it definitely feels like a, a natural environment. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not being told what to do. We can kind of just. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Yeah, it's yeah. not always a good thing to just like. Yeah, you're playing that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, great. The, I at the end of the day, there's not one person in this band that's just a hired gun. Mm. Every, everyone, it is a band, and we're all in it 
together, and Steve's very willing to take part in, in decisions and songwriting, which is which is great. Mm -hmm. so, uh, Bold, Bold West as a band, well, for individuals, uh, who, who are your influences? Who have been influenced by somebody? Or Individual influences? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> A lot. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot, there's it's a lot difficult to narrow it down. Isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of different influences, but I mean, it's general influences, you know, for the power press. I think we definitely go with you know, the um, AOR side, so we've got things like Journey, Tay, so things like that. And then we've also got the, the metal element. Um, Maiden. I made in, um, you know, power metal bands. The power metal bands, of course, you know, Sinatra, and. Um, a few progressive influences as well. You know, Steve's a big fan of Drew and um, so as well. You know. um, so I mean, it's, it's a mishmash of different kind of genres, but it's a general thing. You know, we all kind of we all do share the same kind of influences. Yeah. Yeah. Separately, we have different kind of you know, strains, so to speak. If that makes sense. <laughs> Kinda. Okay. <laughs> we'll go with it. Yeah. There's about like 10,000 different sub-genres of metal these days. Of course, it's, it gets confusing. Yeah. We'll yeah. just yeah. Say, where do you go, yeah. Yeah. yeah? So if you were to have a pigeonhole, which one would you put Power Quest in? Definitely say melodic metal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, at the end of the day, Power Quest does have, the, it's always going to be associated with power metal, you know, it is. In essence, power metal band, but there's so many different, you know, so diverse, so many different styles within the music. What do you think about some of the different sub genres that's out there today? Uh, to to each their own, to be honest, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know, there's so many, you really, you know, yeah. they, they got fans of each thing, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So, I think personally, I'm still very much of the old school, and it's just yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, you've got good music, you've got bad music, you know, that's it. Yeah. If it's metal, it's metal. Um, I don't agree with these, all this core bullshit, you know, crowd core and all of that, you know, um, it's just... Some cock we've never heard of. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like... It's, it's, I was going to say, check it out, but don't, it's just no. absolutely wretched, so... Uh, Everything's some kind of core. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put you on the spot now. What do you think of some of this core, screamy, like that? Is that the next question? Yeah. That was quite smooth. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, um, I think it's a load of bollocks for really. I'm not going to be upset about that. I think, I think you know, um, it's, it's superficial and um, oh, it's, just, it's just not my bag. If you enjoy it, yeah, yeah fair enough, innit? Yeah, like, God bless you, enjoy it. There's whatever. A, there's always something for everyone, isn't there? It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea again, yeah, yeah. So yeah. back to listenable music then. <laughs> when you're when you're making the new albums, is there a recurring theme that runs through the songs, or is it the thing about the latest thing when you see flying past the window? Well, considering this this album is technically the first album with the new line, it's obviously going to be different, you know, into you know, musicality. I think Steve with this album has stuck with the um, real life lyrics which was from Master of Illusion, I think before that it was kind of almost fantasy orientated. Yeah, absolutely, a bit more dragons and swords, swords and all that. I think, it, I think this album will relate to more people. Do you, do you know what I mean? Because it's about real things instead of like, yeah, fantasy as you say. I mean, there's only so much you know, dragons and swords you can say. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, I, I love um, right, that kind of stuff. Well. I'm sure we'd still do that as well, we know. But yeah. I think there's a real mixture you now of that fantasy lyrics and the reality. Lyrics. But at the same time, there's that ability to take a real situation and kind of just mask it in lyrics that are fantasy anyway. So you know, you're always going to have a bit of both of, of it, I think. And you want the you want the listeners to you know, develop their own opinions about lyrics and um, you know, don't take them just just directly. You know, people have different opinions on how. Yeah, no, so, so just perceptions and things like that. And we keep thinking, we've been playing the new material mm. before the album comes out. Yeah. And how are the fans responding to this? Um, it looks good today. Well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, the crowd were great today, I've got to say. Um, and just just on the internet as well, as looking at um, you know, the reviews we've had so far, it's been a really positive response, it's really encouraging for, for, for the new lineup and obviously to Steve as well. It kind of uh, proves that it was all. Worthwhile in the end, you know, so uh, yeah. yeah, it was worth him to come wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's really what Steve looks for. It's it's about you know 
the reaction from the crowd. You want to be pleasing people. I mean, number, number one, we, uh, you know, we please ourselves with music. If we're happy with it, that's a good thing. But if you go on and play it and nobody's enjoying it, what's the point? So I think from the reactions we got today, um, and obviously all those reactions to new material over the Symphony X tour as well, um, but it's so far positive, and I'm very, very happy about it. Mm -hmm. We've got a new line up, we've got a new album in the making, we've got another tour coming up. What's after that? <laughs> yeah, it's busy times at the moment. Um, I, I think we'd like to just play uh, as often as possible. We've been waiting for so long to actually hit the road. Um, and today is kind of the, the day that we've started doing that. And there's further touring coming up. And I think for us, it would just be less. Let's tour this as much as we can. Um, as, as much fun as it is making an album, it's one thing to be cooked up in a studio, it's another thing to be out on stage in front of people playing and stuff, and that's where you want to be. So I think, I think to all of us, you know, recording is great, but that's it. It's, it's separate entities to playing live. But I think playing live when you're playing your own songs as well, you know, it's great playing the old stuff because we're all fans of it. I think playing. Um, your own songs where you've contributed to Power Quest, that's a, it's a whole new thing. It's something we can't really describe, can you? When you're playing live in there, yes. I think it's the, the other thing is, like, from those, it's establishing us as the Power Quest lineup now. Um, because there's still going to be people to win over that are going to be like, you know, we love the old guys, and, you know, we all love the old guys, and, like, a lot, you know, we, we know them, they're all good guys, and everything, and they all wish us the best, which is great. So, you know, we want to establish us as this PQ lineup, and I think that's what it's all about now as well, you know, following up the album by just touring and showing people what we're all about. Which one do you, which do you prefer to be playing, like, festival ways, like, you know, 19,000 fans that's come to see all completely different bands that's playing, or do you prefer, like, you know, a gig where you've got support bowing and there's like 45 people in there. I think it's what shows are always about it. Mm, yeah. Just the, the kind of closest to the fans and, and you know that a lot more people are there to obviously see you. I think the great thing about festivals is getting yourself seen by people who haven't necessarily been bothered with you before. That's what that is to me. Yeah, yeah, they're getting new fans, yeah. I mean, yeah, you've got to, the festivals, it's all about winning over the fans and things like that. Whereas when you play your own shows, you've already got the fans there, they're already coming to see you, so you're already going to have a much more. Um, oh, I'll cut this bit out. <laughs> <laughs> you've backed yourself into the corner, haven't you? <laughs> Think of the right word. It's, not, it's about pleasing them, isn't it? They're these exactly. fans, it's yeah. about giving them what they paid the money to see. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Right, so we've got the album, we've got the tour, we're looking forward to seeing you. Where can we find you on the internet? Mm -hmm. www.powerquest. Facebook as well as well as yeah, the official forward page. slash power quest. Just like okay. power, quest, power quest official and get our official site will come out. Yeah. yeah. We well, yeah, you can also go on Amazon and find Blood Alive. You should find Power Quest there as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're Blood Blood. Motion, and this has been Power Quest. Hey. Cheers guys. <laughs>